I have, we've completely finished uh, our BCM, which is our behavior and community medicine. So like kind of the hodgepodge of classes, that's all done. Um, and we actually had the last round of um, presentations today because we capped that class off with uh, group presentations or group projects. So that's done officially. So no more BCM ever again, uh, which makes me really excited. Um, also, I just finished my hospital practicum class. So I uh, literally just saw, not saw my last patient, but um, did my last presentation for my resident. And um, kind of a cool aspect about that class or just about our school in general or about UF's program is uh, all our classrooms are basically attached to the hospital. So literally right after class, when I went to go meet with my resident, we walked from the meeting room straight into one of the patient wards, and there we talked about um, kind of different, or not talked about, but we went and saw different murmurs and uh, people with like aortic stenosis and mitral regurge and things like that. And so to actually go out there and clinically hear and know what it sounds like and see it on different patients, um, to have that resource is uh, completely invaluable in my opinion. Um, so just kind of things to think about if you're looking for schools, you know, um, some schools are kind of tertiary systems, um, where, you know, they're kind of in a separate building and they're not really attached to anything. And while they may have affiliations with hospitals, they're not directly there. And, um, I just think that's a, like I said, an invaluable tool that we can have those patients and those resources to go out there and see that. Um, as far as medicine goes, uh, we just finished our last geriatrics lecture today, so we have that test on Friday, um, and last week we had a rheumatology exam. Um, geriatrics is a pretty short section, so there's nothing too big on that, um, so it's kind of a smaller test. And then we finished it off with emergency medicine, which um, I worked in emergency medicine for a few years prior to coming to PA school, so it's something that I'm really interested in and look forward to that. Um, other than that, I mean, we had our uh, OSCEs. Uh, not too long ago, or they call them our pre oscies because they're not the real things yet. But um, OSCE, what it stands for, O S C E, I really don't know. But um, I think I mentioned earlier, basically, it's uh, we had six timed interval sessions where we would go in, and on the door it says, "Hey, do uh, you know an ab abdominal exam on this patient?" So you go in and you do an exam and. Then they'll ask you to do a special test or, you know, show me how you palpate the spleen or show me rebound tenderness or something like that. And then they would basically grade you on that. And so we had six different stations, and that was kind of a big deal. And some of the places have, like, pathology in there. So you go in and they'll say, hey, you know, look at that eye or that eye chart right there. Is that, you know, tell me the, if there's a cranial nerve lesion, and if there is, what cranial nerve is it, what muscle is it affecting, um, so you kind of have to know your anatomy and your pathophys um, as well. So that actually went fairly well, and I think our class did pretty well. Um, separate news, I did pass my suture practicum for all of those of you, you know, losing sleep over that. Um, so that's good. And um, what else? Um, tomorrow, clinical procedures, uh, we learn about scrubbing in. Um, sterility and, you know, kind of how to scrub into surgery. Last week we did casting, or two weeks ago we did casting, so that was really cool. Um, and then we have our pack rat. Uh, there's an issue with the computer system, so that kind of threw a wrench into things. Um, so that's actually being rescheduled uh, for June. But um, the questions didn't look too terribly hard, the four or five that I got to before the system crashed. But um, I guess that's just the whole thing about computers nowadays were dependent on that. Um, but at the same time, I'm grateful um, for that as, as well. Um, other things, we had a faculty appreciation luncheon the other day, so that's uh, that was nice just to kind of show our gratitude to our faculty and staff, um, especially a lot of the behind-the-scenes staff that we can't really get to uh, interact with. And, you know, there's is it 60 students in our class, 12 rotations apiece, 720 rotations that they have to find and figure out. So that's exciting. Uh, or so that's not should say exciting, but they have to figure that out. But that's something that, you know, they have to work through and get through that. Um, and this is going to be really long again. Sorry, I apologize. Um, so rotation starts soon. White Coat is in a few weeks. Uh, next week is our last class for the semester. Then we're d Or last week for the semester. Then we're done. 
um, and then advanced clinical procedures, evidence-based medicine, and some other hodgepodge stuff this summer. So if you all have any questions or anything like that, like I said, feel free to email me or shoot me a message on this, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.